I, I just met our next two presenters tonight, but I loved them before I met them because they make this town beautiful. Jeff Hubble and Lindsay Olson are proud Laramites who love to be a part of this community and to contribute to its future. They're University of Wyoming alumni with degrees in art and international studies. Jeff and Lindsay love international travel as well as backpacking in Wyoming's beautiful mountains. Maybe traveling is what makes them passionate about food and community food systems. Whatever the case, they translate their passion for food into a good deal for Laramie because Jeff works for Big Hollow Food Co-op and Lindsay manages the farmer's market. Um, yeah, thank you, Jeff and Lindsay. Um, they love the challenge of gardening at 7,220 feet and they're expanding their food production to include gourmet mushrooms. Yeah, gourmet mushrooms. Let's hear it for gourmet mushrooms. That sounds pretty good. They also run a screen printing service that provides them with community networking and artistic outlets. Now, in 2012, Jeff and Lindsay joined the Laramie Mural Project, and in 2013, they completed the powerful, yet also adorable, Prairie Dog Town, located in the alley behind Atmosphere's Mountain Works. It's great, right? It's one of the beautiful murals in this town. Jeff and Lindsay love being part of such a great collective that brings public art to the walls of Laramie. So let's get them on stage and hear them talk about what it really takes to paint the town. Jeff and Lindsay. So Picasso said, one never knows what one is going to do. One starts painting, and then it becomes something quite different. Well, that was similar to the Laramie Mural Project when it first started. We started with a couple of blank walls, but it's since turned into an attraction. The public response has merited a celebratory party, time-lapse video of the process, merchandise, audio tours. In general, we feel loved. And the project has truly grown into something quite different. So, for tonight, we are going to categorize the many components of mural creation into three broad pillars. Creativity, communication, and community. But needless, needless to say that these pillars do not stand alone, and they are overlapping and interconnected. So let's start with the obvious. We need our artists. They are our gold. They're our artistic capital. And we are very fortunate that we have an amazing collective to choose from. They come from different backgrounds, they have diverse styles, and they use different mediums. Really, our only requirement is that they're local and that they're willing to participate in the entire process. Overall, we want their final piece, their mural, to be reflective of the community. We have our artists, but we also need our organizational support. And really, that comes down to Trey Sherwood and Susan Moldenhauer. Without them, this mural project wouldn't be as successful as it is. They help us with fundraising as well as maintenance of the project, staying true to our vision, both for the projects that we're in the works right now as well as those lofty future goals that we have. So, second pillar, communication. Within the collective, we have regular meetings and critiques. We offer each other logistical quandaries. What is the right mural for the right building? And then we have to deal with the nitty gritty. How much paint do we need? And where are we gonna get this paint? Can we share this paint? We offer each other support, emotional, physical, and creative. Within the community, our communication is really based on networking. We're trying to build relationships with building owners downtown, as well as the general public. Recently, we've had the opportunity to offer mentorships to other communities across Wyoming who also want to bring more public art to their downtown. No surprise, we're always searching out new funding avenues. We need grants, donations, as well as just public support. Our communication requires that promotion and that support, and we really get that from the critical media partnerships we get from the local newspaper as well as the radio. And then we've, we've tapped into the online sources. This helps get us get our message out there and really bring about the mural project to the community. So that brings us to our third pillar, community. Without it, what's the point? It's half of the deal. We've got our artists, they're making their art, but they, we need someone to enjoy it, and that really comes down to the viewers. We need a diverse and sustainable viewership. We need the locals and the tourists. We need the young, the old. We need the casual observers that come down just for a cup of coffee and see it on their way. Or we also need these intentional critics that come downtown and give us their peace of mind on a tour. So what we're proud of with our outreach is our tours. We give tours to school groups, really anyone that asks, and then we also get 
the opportunity to do presentations like tonight. Recently, we've been in the classroom offering instruction at the high school and then the alternative high school as well. We're building a curriculum guide, and this is the intent to bring public art debate into the public um, school systems and provide a tool for the educators. Downtown has been a very significant location. Its vibrancy that already exists has allowed the Laramie Mural Project to gain legs and really take off. So it's become a mutually beneficial relationship. We've got the murals benefiting the downtown, and now the downtown is benefiting the murals as well. So what does it really take to paint the downtown? Well, it takes a tremendous group of tra creative, talented people. They want to share their community values through public art. And then we can't forget Trey and Susan, who help us stay on track. They've said it's hurting cats at times. But as I've highlighted this evening, it's not a one-sided process. Community engagement really fuels this project, and it encourages more public art. You can all get involved by donating materials, donating money for materials, donating a wall to paint on, or you can buy a t-shirt, you can go watch the music, the video, or you can just start conversations. We encourage you to share your selfies on our Facebook pages and stuff, and take the tours, and then review it on TripAdvisor. It helps create buzz about the the mural project and gets people excited for future murals. So at this time, I'd love any member of the mural project to please stand up that's in the audience. And Jeff, and Jeff if you've got a minute here, because we really want to thank Laramie for supporting the mural project in public art downtown. <laughs>